<laughs> All right, Chris. All right, grab your songbook and uh, turn to 85, 85, okay? All right, so good to see everyone tonight. 85 in your songbook there. And uh, go ahead and stand if you will. 85, stand if you will. 85, the confidence has come, okay? All right, wonderful. Amen. And uh, we're seeing here the first, second, and last, okay? First, second, and last, page 85, okay? All right, go ahead there, some streets. And Oh, spread the tidings round, wherever man is found, wherever human hearts and human woes abound. Let every Christian tongue proclaim the joyful sound, the Comforter has come, the Comforter has come, the Comforter has come. The Holy Ghost from heaven, the Father promise given. Oh, spread the tidings round, wherever man is found, the Comforter has come. The long, long night of pass, the morning breaks at last, and hush the dreadful well, and fury on the blast. As o'er the golden hills, the day advancing fast, the comforter has come. The comforter has come, the comforter has come, the Holy Ghost from heaven, the Father promise given. Oh, spread the tidings round, wherever man is found, the comforter has come though bound is love divine how shall this tongue of mine to one immortal tales the mass the grace divine that i a child of hell should in his image shine the comforter has come the comforter has come the comforter has come the Holy Ghost from heaven, the Father promise given. Oh, spread the tightness round, wherever man is found, the comforter has come. Choir, Amen. Choir, come on up. Amen. Choir, come on up, if you will. All right. Wonderful. Come on, choir. Come on, choir. We're going to sing for Jesus. Welcome, everybody. So good to see you. Choir is going to come up and sing. We greet you. We greet you that are here, and we greet the ones watching online. We'll say thank you for watching and listening, and we love you dearly, and you're special to us. Choir is coming up to sing. No, no better precious name than Jesus. There's something about the name of Jesus. Amen. And so the choir is going to sing. God blessed us this morning in a great way. He met with us and helped us. And tonight, he's brought us back tonight. We're so glad to have you. We're, we're rejoicing. We're rejoicing how God blessed our rare conference, the Bible conference. And we're thankful for what he's done. And now we want to do more for God. That's right. Let's stand, if we will. Let's stand, if we will. Everybody standing? Let's stand, if we will. And um, let's bow our heads and close our eyes and... Let's bow our heads, and let's go to the Lord, and let's pray. Let's ask God for help tonight. Okay, let's bow our heads. All right, let's pray. Father, thank you we can pray. Fill us with the Holy Spirit, and bless each one in a special way, we pray. Help the choir. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. You can be seated. Jesus, 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 there's just something about that name yes. master savior jesus like the fragrance after the rain jesus 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 let all heaven and earth 
wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus our Lord. He's the master of everything. Creator of everything. His name is wonderful. Jesus our Lord. He's the great shepherd, the rock of all ages. Almighty God is he. We bow down before him, love and adore him. His name is wonderful. Jesus our Lord, Jesus, 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 there's just something about that name, kings and kingdoms will all pass away, but there's something about Thank you, choir. Let's everybody stand, please, if we will. Let's everybody stand. Thank you so much. You know, Jesus is very pleased, you know, when he hears songs like that. Let me hear you say, Happy Father's Day, Jesus. Day. Amen. Uh, Jesus, they said, show me the Father. Jesus said, you're looking at him, you see? And you have the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. They're all one. That's right. Yeah, he's the Holy Spirit. He's the Son. He's the Father. He's the Holy Ghost. He can do anything he wants to do. God can do anything. Amen. 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 And so I want to say thank you for singing that wonderful song about his name, about his name. All right. We, get, we, we gave out the Father's Day gifts. Happy Father's Day. Is, is there any father that did not get a gift yet? Okay. Right here. Okay. Right over here. Right over here. Okay. Any other father that didn't? Right. Brother Grant. Okay. He wanted one. To, uh, he said another father. He he get one this morning? He, he okay. Out of generous, out of his heart, to out of generous, uh, gener generous, generous, uh, generous, generous, being generous, <laughs> generous. To, we, we love you. You know that. Amen. Let's give the, all these fathers a hand. Let's give all these fathers a hand. Happy Father's Day to you. You can be seated. You can be seated. And the rest of you got your Father's Day gift this morning. All right. And, um, and so uh, thank you so much. We're being very generous to them. He said he's not a father, but he wants one. See, he's he's about how old he now? Eighty? How old are you? Ah, ha, ha. and you you've been, you've you've been so faithful. You've been so faithful. Okay, all these years. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Any other fathers that did not get one? Okay. Any others? Okay. Great. Okay. Yeah, we got ours. We got ours. We got ours. Good. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you. All right. And so we're so glad you're here. Um, we do have some bulletins left over. Um, we have some brother, ushers. Uh, we have some uh, bulletins left over. Just raise your hand if you don't have yours from this morning. We got some left over. We, okay, right here. Need a bulletin right here? Right up front here. Yeah. We passed them out this morning, but you might not got a bulletin. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, if you need a bulletin right over here, great. Good. We look at your bulletin here, okay? We'll give, you, give you a wonderful welcome, warm welcome, okay? We thank the Lord so much for you being back, okay? We got some visitors came back. They were here this morning. They're back tonight, back here. Let's cheer them on. Encourage them. Raise your hand back there. Good, good. Great. Did you put that business card in the plate this morning? Did you put the business card in the plate yet? Not yet. Get it. Make sure they got another. Uh, make sure they get that business card right over. Here. Ask them did they put it in the plate right there. But thank you so much. If you could fill it out, if you haven't filled one out, and we want to get a record, a visit of you. Okay. All right. So they got it. This is good. Great. Welcome back. And you look at your bulletin here. The times of service. Be faithful. Of course. This week we'll be out of town and visiting relatives in Connecticut. We put our itinerary here, five different churches. We'll be preaching Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then Sunday morning, Sunday night, which we'll be praying for every pastor in each church. 
And I want you to pray for safety, real early plane flight. I want you to be praying for safety. Pray for Brother Burley while, he's, while we're gone. Pray that God bless him. This is Patrice. Thank God for you that rally behind him and be an encouragement to Brother Burley. He always does a wonderful job. And, um, and so continue praying for um, Brother Burley there. And pray for our loved ones in Connecticut that we'll see. And um, pray, pray that God would just, um, uh, just fill us with the Holy Spirit and, um, uh, and be glorified. And so thank you for your prayers. Amen. That youth rally is going on also, youth Amen. rallies. Amen. This week it starts. I hope you tune in the North Valley Baptist Church. You, I wish we could take all our young people to, 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 to California. I wish I, could, I wish I could take all of our young people on a plane. I wish we all can go, but it ain't going to happen. But at least you can watch it online, okay? And tune in on it. Preaching and singing and teaching and games for young people. You you're watching a bunch of stuff on the on on, on the um, social network. Why don't you do something good like a good team rally? Amen. 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 Ladies fellowship tomorrow. Please see Sister Barnett about that. June seventeenth. All right. All right. And be sure to see Sister Barnett about that, ladies. Okay. Thank you so so much. Also, I want you to see the birthdays. Make sure you see happy birthday. I told Brother Brother, we got you, brother. We got you covered. It's a coming. Amen. 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 We take, we take care of him. Amen. Amen. We take, we take care of him. Amen. Amen. We got you covered. We got some other surprises here. Amen. All right. Uh, brother, well, Jamaris. Jamaris. You representing Jamaris? <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Okay. But Grant, make sure. Okay. Okay, tomorrow's okay. All right, wonderful. Amen. Okay. Amen. All right, and so um, uh, just be thankful. Be uh, oh, praise God for these these wonderful things. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, sir. Oh, thank, thank God, thank God, thank God. We sing happy birthday this morning. Can't sing it too, too, too much for these birthdays. Happy birthday to you, Grandpa Burley. <laughs> this joke, <laughs> young man Burley. Happy birthday, Grandpa. No, just joking. <laughs> Great Grandpa. No, just joking. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm messing with him. God bless. He's not over here yet. Since we've got a long ways to go, okay? Still a young man, all right? All right. Happy birthday to you, singing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. God bless you, brother, brother. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. Amen. May God bless you. All these birthdays here. May God bless you in the month of June. Why? Wow, a number of them in June. Happy birthday to you all. Amen. And we want to say happy birthday uh, to you if you're online. It's your birthday. Happy birthday to the fathers that watch online. You know, we need to thank God for the ones that watch online. Give God the praise for them. And they're precious. And we love them. Thank God you would tune in and watch whenever you're watching this video, uh, this uh, service. Well, um, let's do this here. Let's do this here. Um, let me hear you say June 19th. June, June 10th. June 10th. Um, right there on the table there. Henry, get them real quickly. Real, real quickly there, if you will. On, on the seat. On the seat there. Brother Grant, if you can help them. All right, if you can help them. Let's, let's first start off with the picture one, the first one in the picture first. The one with the picture. Well, let's do this. Let's do this. I passed out the handouts this morning. Somebody already got the handout this morning, okay? They didn't get the picture, okay? God bless you. Pass it out. Um, go ahead and pass, pass the picture out. To adults. Get to adults. Adults. They, the kids can share. You can share with adults. Adults first, please. Please, first, the adults, please. I appreciate it so much. All right, get it to the adults, Juneteenth. Officially, Juneteenth National Independence Day is a federal holiday in the United States, celebrated annually on June 19th. Oh, I, got, I, I think yeah, I got one here, thank you. June 19th, to commemorate. The ending of slavery in the United States. <coughs> Comes derived from the word June and 19th. 
Portman Two. Pronounce it port and two of the words together June and 19th. Let me just say Juneteenth. As it was on June 19th, 1865, when Major General Gordon Granger ordered the final enforcement of the Emancipation Proclamation in Texas at the end of the American Civil War. They were like, fair, fair to one let, let, let the servants go. They didn't want the black slaves to go. Now, Mrs. Lee, you need to study about it. Google, Google about it. When you get to, when you, when you, hey, please don't talk. I'll, I'll wait till you stop talking. I'm, I'm trying to help you, trying to educate you, trying to outsmart the devil. That's what I'm trying to do. Amen. 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 I'll wait, some of you are still talking. Have them turn around, be quiet, go like this. Shh, tell them shh. All right, kids, look up here. Okay, I'm trying to educate you and help you, okay? All right, how many of these we got left over? You got them all out to the adults? How many got left over these pictures? You, good, get, t uh, teenagers, raise your hand. Give one to the teenagers. And, and give one to the children after the teenagers. Pass them out. Raise your hand, teenagers, if you don't got one. I want you to get one. Right over here front. Right front. Right front here. Children or children, whoever. Give them, give them to the children. I want to educate you. Pass them out. I don't, I don't want to waste this. Yeah, pass. Raise your hand if you ain't got one. Children, teenagers, I want you to take one. Okay? All right? I want you... You can Google Mrs. Lee. When you do Juneteenth, when you Google Juneteenth, you can study her life. As an older lady, you're going to see that she walked from Fort Worth, Texas, all the way to Washington, D.C. It, it took a while. Why? She wanted to get this thing to be a federal holiday to remember what they did. They didn't want to let those slaves go. And finally let them go in Texas. And so it became, there's a lot of history with this, there's a lot of celebrations. Now, we're going to outsmart the devil. We're, we're going to show God we are very thankful that black people have been delivered from slavery and, the, and Jim Crow laws and all that stuff, all this stuff, but mainly slavery. We're going to show God how we're thankful. Our great-grandmoms, great-granddads, my great-granddaddies, and Brother Burroughs, great-great-daddies, and the rest of you, okay, African-American people. Okay, Sister Patrice Burley, others, and they're right. Others, and they're right. And they're right. Go on, Ron, Brother Grant, right? So Nathalie, African American history, great, 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 great grandparents. Right? That's right, Brother Pentry. Great, great, great. And you go back to they were slaves. Mm -hmm. Now listen, we're going to thank God that they that they were set free. Okay, we're going to thank God finally these people in Texas. And other people around the country had to get to the point where they had to give in. Okay? But we're going to outsmart the devil. We're going to celebrate this in a wise way. We're not going to like a bunch of stinking heathens with wicked music, with ungodly stinking wicked Hollywood, half naked and dope and liquor. Come on. Living like a bunch of stinking animals killing each other. We're going to show God that we're thankful that our great grandfathers were set free and we're free Amen. by holy living, Amen. serving God. Amen. 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 Come on, Amen. say amen. amen. We're going to outsmart the devil. We're going to outsmart the devil. We're going to, we're, we're, we're going to um, celebrate in a way of living a life for Christ. Yes. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And, we're, and we're going to do it a wise way. We're not going to get all drunk, celebrate that way. Isn't that right? But we are going to um, give God the glory and praise yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, by a Christian testimony. Amen. And on that day, give God praise. Don't ignore it. Amen. Don't ignore it. Let's not ignore it. We, we, we should not ignore it. Amen. Amen. Just because somebody celebrates in the wrong way, we can do it in the right way. Now, we're not going to do it like the President Biden did to deceive black people, right. to make them think that he's really caring. If he was really caring, he straightened out some things in these black cities. That's right. Amen. Amen. So it's more than just recognizing this woman. Mm -hmm. It's more than just recognizing this woman. Right. Right. You know, 
What are we really doing to help black people? What are we doing? I believe we need to get out and we need to get soul in the black community. I know we get good Bible, believe in fundamental Baptist, good, te the best, to what we talked about this week at the rare conference. Amen. Just really care about them, Amen. get them in church, indoctrinate them in the word of God. Amen. See, we we outsmart that devil. Now, listen, I, I'm telling you, the president has honored this woman. I'm telling you, he has honored her. He has used her. I'm telling you, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. And he knows it'll bring a lot of black vote. A lot of black vote. And he can't win it without the black vote, friend. And I'm telling you, President Biden's agenda, listen, he already said it. He wants more babies killed. He's not hiding it. He's not hiding it. He wants more transgender, cut the parts of boys and girls. More drag queens. Even had that homo, transgender, whatever, kiss his hand, right? At the same time, hugging Miss Lee. At the same time, hugging this lady. So he wants the transgender vote. Right, right, right. He's desperate. <laughs> but who we'll outsmart the devil? Amen, amen, amen. Who we'll outsmart the devil? Amen. The way we're going to outsmart the devil is we're going to let black people know we do care. Amen. That's, amen. We do care. Amen, amen. And I want you to pray these white preachers smarten up. And start studying some black history. That's right. Amen. Yes, and understanding black people. I want you to do a, a check on Google how many black people are in Georgia, how many millions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I want you to study how many blacks are in Tennessee, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Virginia, right. in the South. Right, right. And we're going to Connecticut. We got, we got some up there, but nothing like the South. Nothing. These are votes, I'm telling you. And I'm telling you, our country's about to be turned to hell because of deception of liberal politicians. That's right. That's right, Pastor. Yes, sir, brother. Amen. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so what I want you to pray is that black independent fundamental Baptist preachers outsmart the devil mm -hmm. and white ones. Amen. Amen. You say, how do you do that? Show black people that you're concerned. Yeah. That's all. Amen. 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 I, I'm not Amen. saying, look, look, look friend, look, I'm not saying, look, we, and I want you to understand this thing here, okay? I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope you understand that I just want us to be balanced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we need a balance. Mm -hmm. You know, our church is diverse, and, and we're striving to even make it more diverse. Right. You understand that, right? But we're going to have to be balanced. Everybody's not a racist, but there is definitely an issue, a problem. And I believe a big issue is we're not being sensitive of hurting people. And we need to be sensitive of hurting people. We need to be sensitive. And, and we need to, everybody's not a racist, but there are some problems going on. And we need to let these people know, look, uh, we, we do care. I mean, we, we do feel you. No, I, jo what did Joseph say? Okay. Joseph said, you meant it for evil. You know, God meant it for good. I'm in the place of God. I'll nourish you. You know, um, you know I'll take care of you. That spirit, right? Am I, am I correct? Well, today... Because of what white people did way back there in that, that time, you got black people that want to collect money. They want to collect money. They want to collect money from white people today and blame white people today. Well, the white people today did not do what the white people did in slavery years ago. You don't punish good people for what bad people did. And neither should you punish black people for what they did wrong and make them pay for it. But what we need to do, though, we need to be sensitive that these are some people's great granddads and grandmoms that were slaves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
And we need to say, hey, I hear you. I feel you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Amen. I feel you. Amen. I mean, seriously, these white preachers just say, I feel you. The blacks went through a lot. They couldn't be members. They, 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 couldn't, you couldn't, they couldn't be baptized. And, 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 and they, they, it was, it's a bad past. But hey, there's a new kid on the block. There's a new kid on the block. Amen. I, I talked to uh, uh, Brother Shelton Smith, um, uh, the editor of Sword of the Lord, and we talked about it. And, um, and he realized, yes, I, he needed to do something about it. And he did. Mm -hmm. He did because, you know, it's just not right what was done in the past. Mm -hmm. and, and, he, and, and he showed that he's making it after. Yes, sir. Amen. You know, he put my sermon right on the front page of that yes, paper, sir. and it goes all over the country. Right. You see, because of the injustice in the past. He knows what blacks went through. Yes, sir. You see? Yes, sir. And people are thinking it's the same way. Mm -hmm. John R. Rice was the editor of the Sword of the Lord. He taught segregation. Right. He taught as, good, as best blacks and whites don't go to the same school. They, they may start liking and dating each other. Mm -hmm. But Shelton Smith, the new editor, he's saying, hey, look, he don't feel that way. He don't believe that way. Amen. 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 He realized that John R. Rice made some mistakes. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's making it up. This year, if you notice, it's going to be a black preacher there. Now, it's not going to be me. It don't have to be me. Just get somebody. That's right. I don't think some of them can handle me. I'll be honest with you. Not yet. God's got some work to do. But thank God they got the black brother. Amen. 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 We'll give him some credit. Amen. 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 Give, give him some credit. Amen. He won't rock the boat too much. Okay? But thank God we got somebody. Amen. 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 And, and be happy about it. Amen. We're making some progress. Amen. Amen. I love the brother. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Don't got to be me. But I'm saying we are making some effort. Yes, sir. We are making some effort. Show people. Show people. Amen. And we're going to show white people they're welcome here. Amen. Spanish people are welcome. Look, grandma over there. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Portuguese, whatever. Isn't that right? Amen. Look, look. All I'm saying is I want you to study this week, June 19th. That's Wednesday. That's Wednesday. I'm asking Brother Burley have some prayer, praising God for uh, the Lord to intervene, the slaves to set free. Uh, great grandfathers, grandmothers, and thank thank you so much, yes. Lord. You rescued from the chains, and, and and well, let's do it now, Lord. Thank you, yes. thank you for yes. for rescuing the slaves, the blacks that were slaves, and yes. thank God you delivered them, and thank God, the Lord, 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 you rescued them, and they're free, yes. and, and they celebrated, and, and and God help us to realize that that there are black people today yes. that the Lord that are taught that everybody's a racist and don't care. Help them to realize we care. We, we do care. We don't want to never do to white people that way. We don't want to do to Spanish people that way. We thank God for freedom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We, we thank you for this lady that worked so hard to make it. Uh, uh, Mrs. Lee would walk from Fort Worth all the way to D.C. Thank you that bring awareness of how the slaves was, were, were, they, they, were, they, were, they, 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 they didn't want to let them go. They did not want to let them go. And a couple of years later, finally, thank God, they were set free in Texas. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. I don't know. You're going to have to study it. I'll look at it again. It might have been 250,000 of them there in Texas. I don't know. But finally, they let them go. They wanted to hold them there. Finally, they're all free, all free. Amen. Let's celebrate. Amen. Amen. And they pushed it. They pushed it to make it a national federal holiday. You know what's sad? It's, it's a federal holiday, which is a sad. But many people act like it's nothing. Nothing. See? If we're going to win black African-American people, we've got to love them. We've got to care for them. And we got to let them know that we're sensitive about this mm -hmm. and that we really want the best for the black family mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because there's so much injustice, yes, so many things that were done wrong. And um, what we want to do is be sensitive of that and caring and loving. And at the same token, we want to let white people know that we love them, that we'll never do what was done in our country yes. to black people Amen. Amen. and to the Jews. I said to the Jew, amen, amen. you see the way they're treated? Yes, you see the death to the Jew? You see, you see what they're saying, death to the Jew? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, we will love the Jew. Amen. Amen. God said those that bless the Jew will be blessed. Those that curse the Jew will be cursed. Mm -hmm. We'll not be like these protesters. We will not do these bad things. Amen. 
before Hitler destroyed them all in the gas chambers, they went and they, they started ransacking and they started destroying their property. And they said, we hate the Jew. Well, guess what's happened in the United States? That very thing. Well, where's the blacks? We've been mistreated. We, we got to stand up for them. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's all I'm saying. Amen. Amen. We stand for Juneteenth. Juneteenth, we, we were celebrating. We're celebrating. We're excited uh, that um, freedom and the federal holiday to remember. Um, by the way, I told you the book of Esther, Esther, when you read the end of Esther, when you read the end of that book, uh, the Jews, were gonna, they were going to destroy them, but God set them free, and they celebrated. They celebrated. They, they, they had a celebration. Amen. And they marked a time of the year. It's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. Now, we're not going to dance around like a bunch of stinking wild animals, Amen. Amen. half naked. Amen. Amen. Not going to some wicked concert. Amen. 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 Black people will do it. Amen. They will do it. Yes, sir. Shoot out and everything and cuss and curse you. F word, they're rapping. F, B word. We're not going to celebrate Juneteenth that way. No, sir. Amen. Amen. no we won't. Amen. Amen. No, we won't. Amen. But I, I'm asking Brother Burley. He'll be here with you. I want you to praise God for the freedoms. And thank God so much for free, uh, the rescue. And uh, thank God for the deliverance. And thank God we're not slaves. Amen. Thank God white people ain't slaves. Thank God black people ain't slaves. Thank God Spanish Guatemalan ain't slaves. Thank God for freedom. Amen. Amen. Thank God China don't rule us. Thank God Russia and Bible training. You brought it up. You're right. You're right. It's getting close. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, sir. I don't want no country coming here making us slaves. Amen. Amen. It has been done. Yes, sir. That's right. It, it could. You said, Pastor, it can't never happen. Don't you tell me. Daniel was taken to slavery. Don't you tell me. He said, that's America. Yeah, God do what he wanted to do. That's right. That's right. I'm going to praise him for our freedoms. Amen. 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 But I want you to study Amen. this week. Don't ignore it. Study, study Juneteenth. Okay? All right? Study. Mrs. Lee. That's a long walk, friend. Wow. It took a lot. They had, you had to go through a lot. Now watch this. That snake, that deceitful snake in the White House. That deceitful one. He's slick. I mean, he'll rear Obama in. And he'll, he'll bring Miss Harrison. Huh. And then watch those men with ladies' breasts. Open a shirt in the, in the White House. Open it up. Right on the lawn. Have a celebration that way. Ladies' breasts. That's sad. That's sickening. A man. A man. You ought to be upset. But he's slick. He's slick. Right. He'll get Miss Lee. He'll honor Miss Lee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Children of this world are wiser than children of light. Mm -hmm. Biden's outsmarting some of these fundamental white preachers. Yep. Yep. They say nothing about Miss Lee. Yep. Nothing about slavery. Mm -hmm. Nothing about the injustice. Mm -hmm. They ought to let their, all those millions of blacks around the area. It's a, it's, it's a, new, kid, it's a new kid on the block. This is one white preacher. We want these black people. Amen. 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 Don't let Amen. those black families show up and ain't got one in your church. Come on now. Amen. 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 And Amen. for them black preachers, Amen. it's time they rise up. Amen. Mr. Biden outsmart, he's smarter than them in some areas. Come on now. That's right. Amen. They ain't got no white people. That's right. Come on. They ought to show the white people they want them. Amen. 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 And they ought to get them in their church. Amen. Amen. Amen, Pastor Barney. Amen. Amen. He said, Pastor Barney, why do you keep hitting on this? Because it's happening every week in our country. Every week. It happened today. Matter of fact, as I talk right now, he's doing everything he can do to stay in office. Everything. Every lie. And it's just sad. It's sad that people are being deceived. But I understand how they can be. I really do. If you knew what The View was saying, some of you don't even know. If you knew what CNN was saying, some of you don't even know. They don't even know. Thank you for sending that clip, Assistant Pastor. They don't understand that, you know, the history of what many of these Democrats have done to black people, even Biden, if they even knew what he did to black people. And it's, it's the truth. Mm -hmm. President Trump has done more for black people 
in one year than Biden has done in all these years. I'm not telling you to vote for him. I'm not demanding you to vote for a certain person. I, it's my job to tell you the difference. Mm -hmm. You got to vote. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. And you got to be the one that to decide. But I want you to know the facts. Mm -hmm. My job is to cry out and Amen. spare not. Amen. 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 And, and show you what's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. You know? Amen. But um, you're going to have to pray that God would just help many of preachers and Christians to wise up. That's right, that's right, that's right. We're going to have to wise up, friend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, brother. And it's not going to be long. November's going to be here before we know it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we definitely don't need four years of this junk. No, we don't. Oh, God, help us, brother. God, help us. Not all this inflation. No, sir. Not all this baby kill. Mm -hmm. Not all this stuff that's going on in our country. Mm -hmm. We're just about to be taking over another country. Yes, you, you heard them. Mm -hmm. They're starting to draft. And I'm not just saying to scare you. It's not going to be just the boys. Mm -hmm. You watch. Oh, yes, the sir. next thing, they're going after these girls. That's right, bro. That's right. That's right. You mark her down. Mm -hmm. They're going to make these girls go in the war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get raped and killed and everything else. That's right. That's right, That's right bro. I don't my daughters going through that. No, but it's on its way. Mm -hmm. So don't have the attitude. It don't matter. It does matter. Amen. Amen. It does matter. Amen. Amen. And... I just believe that if we pray hard enough, a lot of black people will wake up and smell the coffee mm -hmm. and be not so deceived. That's right. Amen. Amen. God can open their eyes. Amen. Amen. They got many of black voices for Trump now. Mm -hmm. They got many voices, mm -hmm. black families for Trump. Yes, sir. Amen. Because they're businessmen. Mm -hmm. and these ain't no people. These ain't people, that uneducated people. These are educated people. That's right. These are well-known people. Is it enough? We still need to depend upon God. We still need a Goliath, a David, that will go after Goliath. Mm -hmm. You know? And, of course, you know, President Trump, has, he has issues. You know that. Mm -hmm. every, every one of them going to have issues. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know, when it comes time in November, we're not voting for a Sunday school teacher. We're not voting for a pastor. We're not voting for a deacon. That's not what the vote's for. The vote is for who will do less damage to our country. Who will keep us safer? Amen. Amen. Who? Amen. Which one? Amen. Amen. Which one? Amen. Amen. Which one will be to the destruction of our country faster? Amen. You're going to have to decide now. You have to decide. I'm not, I can't tell you who to vote for. I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm asking you to start praying. But I do know one thing we can do to show black people that we're concerned is we need to be concerned about things that they're concerned about. And this is one of the things that they're concerned about is Juneteenth is very sensitive and those are loved ones those are great grandfathers great grandmothers that they care about and they do care Amen. okay it was my daddy it was my grandparents mm -hmm. I hope you understand that went through what they went through That's right. That's when they could not eat at these places right. that white people can go they couldn't go to their schools and in my lifetime they couldn't go to their colleges so you can imagine what my dad went through Okay? When you're thirsty, you wanted some water, you couldn't drink out of that water fountain of that white person. You have to go walk two miles if you have to get some water. I'm saying they went through it. White people are not that way. You precious white people are not that way. That's why you're here in our church. You love everybody. You love this preacher. And there was good people back then. Good people back then. Good people. Good people. Okay, you understand that? And, um, but we need to be sensitive. We need to be sent. These white preachers need to. Okay. Our rare conference was this week. And I don't believe Brother Dave would, would, would mind me saying it. He came down from Massachusetts. And Brother Dave said to me, and it, it, it's, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful statement. It's a wonderful um, gesture. Brother Dave came down from Massachusetts. And we love them, we pray, and, you, you know, we care about them. He's up in Massachusetts. He don't understand some of this. And so, and this, it was not only come from him, it comes from others. And it's true. He said, well, I don't know any white church that says blacks cannot be members or, or blacks cannot attend. And I said, thank you. And I mean it. The Holy Spirit used that. 
I said, you are right. You are right, my dear brother. And this is where he, got, he had to get silent. And this is where these preachers got to get silent. And I said it during the week. I said, no, they don't say you can't be a member or you can't be baptized. I said, what are they doing to go get them and compel them to come in your church? What are you doing to compel them to go after them to get them in your church? And I say the very thing of the black preacher. Our church is open to everybody, white or Spanish. I say to them, what are you doing to compel them to get in your church? You got to get quiet. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And I believe you understand where I'm coming from. Yes, sir. Amen. You got to love people, friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to love people. Mm -hmm. You know, um, mm -hmm. I believe there was times in my past, I believe there was times in my past, I really could have been more effective at reaching black African-American people. Mm -hmm. I really believe I could have been more effective. Mm -hmm. And you can tell I'm striving to do more to reach out and try to help and try to win them over, you know, and do more. You see what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. And, um, and I'm going to do everything I can with God's help. And one of the things is being sensitive of things like this, Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. Let them know you're concerned. Okay? Um, get some gospel tracks and love them and care for them. They're going to be celebrating. Let them know. Volunteer church. Mm -hmm. Reach out to them. Go visit a black museum. They have one here in Knoxville. Visit it. Mm -hmm. Visit the history. Get to know some things. Amen. Win them over. Amen. Let them know you love them and white people. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Let them know you care. Amen. You know, that's all I'm saying. After that wonderful conference, I want us to do more to reach blacks and whites. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. You understand it. Um, Wonderful. Great. Okay, let's everybody stand. We're going to get ready to receive our offering, please. Let's everybody stand. Please. There's an envelope right in front of you or back of you. Right in front of you or back of you. I want to thank everyone that does your part in giving, and I can't say it enough. Thank you all, all of you that did something for your father, you know. Thank you so much, and I appreciate that. Thank God for all that you Barnett kids have done for me, Amen. publicly, and also the grandchildren. And I'm sure Brother Burley says the same thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He yes, appreciates sir. it so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What his children do. And, um, I want to say thank you so much for what, what you do. It's been a, a, a wonderful, encouraging day. And I want to say thank you. I, Brother Grant, you say the same thing. You thank, thank the children. And, and thank, thank your wife. And thank my wife. And, Brother Bro, you do the same. Thank, thank you. You're very, you're very thankful. Very thankful. And the rest of you. Um, I think that's precious, the way they express love. And thank you for uh, encouraging us. I, I want to say this, friend, and I said it this morning. There might be some, and not, not maybe, there are some in our church. And I want you to encourage them. That, Encourage me. I have a heavenly father. I don't have an earthly father living, but my father's in heaven. I got a father in heaven. Amen. I got God. Amen. 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 And you got God. Encourage these girls and boys. They may not have an earthly father. Can you imagine? And Brother Burley, without apology, without you know any regrets, yes, sir. he tells you straight up. But why? He wants he wants to help these young people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He grew up. But our daddy, yes, but he, he had a father in heaven. Mm -hmm. Look what God's done for him. Amen. 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 Go!
depends how you listen and go on. Aren't you glad you have a father that loves you? Amen. He's with you. Amen. Aren't you glad he cares about you? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I wanted to encourage you with that. Say happy Father's Day to, to Jesus. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. Brother Brill, would you pray over the offering, if you will? He'll pray. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, friends, let's go to the Lord and pray, if you will, and pray the Lord bless the offering at this time. Dear God, we thank you, Lord, again, we can give, and thank you for blessing us all to be here tonight in the house of God tonight. And, the, and Lord, I pray you uh, bestow upon us great blessings, dear Lord, and God bless the one that want to give, and, and God, those who, Lord, that, that, I mean, those who might not be able to give tonight, Lord, just help them. They have a heart. They want to do something for the Lord. May you bless them. Help them, Jesus. You know the heart they have. They want to do more for God. Bless them, Jesus, please, and help us all to be able to do more for God. The devil hates it when we give. He don't like it, Lord. So bless us to be able to put you first. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. You can be seated. You can be seated. I heard some of you singing, How Great Thou Art with the God Bless You. Let's everybody stand. Get your songbook. Turn, I'm a songbook. Get your Bible. Open to Luke chapter 15, please. Uh, Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. If you stand, please. Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. Thank you, Sister Patrice Burley. That flute sounds so wonderful. It sounds so wonderful. Let's see if I stand, please. If you need to go by there and swipe your card, you can if you need to. And they'll be back there if you need to give that way. Okay? Some people don't carry cash. They don't carry checks. And they use card. And, of course, you can go online, Grace Bible Baptist Church, in Knoxville, Tennessee, and Google it. it, it uh, it'll, pop, it'll pop right up. You just tap your card back here. And um, if you can fill an envelope out when you do that, that, that will help um, tremendously. And um, Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 15. All right, so Patrice Burrow is going to sing a solo right before I preach and be praying for her. Pray the Spirit of God will use her and pray the Holy Spirit help you to listen to the words. And she'll minister to you in song in a few moments. But Luke chapter 15 and verse 11 Verse 11 here, um, eleven through twenty. Eleven through twenty. Okay, Brother Burley, um, he'll read um, verse verse eleven, and um, you. Read every other verse with them down to verse 20. I appreciate it. Um, Luke chapter 15, verse 11 through 20. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, again, Luke chapter 15, verse 11 through 20. And uh, we'll read the verses together. I read the first verse and you read the second verse and so on, all the way down to verse 20. Then drew near unto him all the publicans and sinners for to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners, and eateth with them. 
And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What men are you having a hundred sheep, if ye lose one of them, does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost, until he find it? And when he had found it, he lays it on his shoulder, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth more than over ninety and nine just persons which needeth no repentance. Either what, woman, either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, does not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she had found it, she called us her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. And he said, A certain man had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fell to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country, and there wasted his substance with riotous living. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into, the, into his fields to feed swine. Let's pray at this time. Every head bow and eyes closed. Father, we thank you, Lord, again for the reading of thy word. Lord, we pray that you bless us now. We pray that you speak to our hearts, Lord. And God, we pray that you bless our pastor and that you fill him with the spirit of God and give him power and wisdom and liberty. Use him, Lord, to bring forth thy word tonight. Open our eyes, Lord, and our hearts to receive what you have for us. And we ask in Jesus' name, amen, amen. You may be seated. My father has a great big family, and there are many children besides me. If you're wondering how he divides his time, just let me say I never stand in line. He loves me like I was his only child. Never felt such love before. I can never ask for more. He loves me like I was his only child. God really loves me. Yes, he really loves me. He loves me like I was his only child. He never favors me above the rest. But I can say that I am truly blessed. He treats me best as I often say. But all my children God's children feel that way. He loves me like I was his only child. Amen. Never felt such love before. Amen. I can never ask for more. Amen. He loves me like I was his only child. Amen. God really loves me. Amen. Yes, he really loves me. Yes. He loves me like I was his only child. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you for ministering to us. We appreciate you so much. A father's love. A father's love. In Luke chapter 15, he had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, we're talking about a father's unconditional love. I thank God for our workers, and you work so hard, and I want to thank you. You're downstairs, and you're working children's church and nurseries, and the hustle and bustle on a Sunday morning. 
preachers, I hope you will watch online. And I hope you, it's up there online. And I hope you watch and listen, especially this morning's message. What a blessing. It'll be encouragement to you. And um, if, you, if you missed it this morning, would, would you please, um, you know, meditate on it. And uh, that wonderful love that Jacob had for all of his children. What a dysfunctional home it was. What hurt, what hurt that they hurt their daddy. But he, so much love, so much love. And I believe that did drive Joseph to serve God and help them to survive. So listen to that, watch it. That's a blessing to be able to have this tool. Well, I, I listen to it, I get blessed. I preached it. I preached it, you know? I preached it and God speaks to me. I want to encourage you all to start watching. I want to encourage you to start listening, watching, listening, listen, listen to them. It'll help you. And I thank God for our workers. But you know, it's been on my mind, our Heavenly Father's deep love for us. And we see that here. We see that the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that fall to me. Just the, just the disrespect, just, the, just the, the way he talked to his daddy, give me. You know, as much as the father loved this boy and cared about this boy, saved for this boy, worked for this boy, you know, give me my, you know, what's coming to me, you know? And um, the disrespect, you know? And the Bible says, honor your mother and father, right? Dishonoring him. So sad, isn't it? The father loves him. He cares about him so much. Give me the goods that fall to me. And he divided unto them his living. Have at him. And not many days after the younger son gathered what? Verse 13. Luke 15, verse 13. And not many days after the younger son gathered what? All together. And took his journey into a well. That breaks, that breaks a daddy's heart. So far away. So far away. Don't you wish these children, all of them, would realize how much the father loves them? Amen. I'm talking about they really have a father that loves them. Amen. Amen. Or a mother that loves them. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. So much love. And, um, you know, a phone call, a letter, you know, I think young people, we, we, we were young sometimes, just think about us older ones. I, I, think, I, think, I thought about you know, when I was in college. We all get busy. We all get busy. But you got a dad that mom loves you. Amen. And that phone call surely helps, a letter or something. But we got, we got so busy, we get wrapped up. And you look back at it now. As a father, as a mother, you know the importance of it now, don't you? <laughs> Amen. 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 I tell you what, my mother never stopped loving me. Amen. Amen. And my dad never stopped loving me. Amen. Amen. You see them off and you go, they go off to college, they go off and move somewhere, you know? And um, this father, this father was hurt the way it was done. But he never stopped loving his son. Kept on praying. Amen. Amen. Kept on looking. Willing to go through whatever he had to go through. And um, his son did him dirty. He did him dirty. And, um, and when he had spent all the arose of what? A mighty what? Famine in that what? In that land. And he began to be in one. Now you, you, you can think what you want to think. I really believe 
that father did not wish evil on his son. I don't believe that father wished hurt. I don't think he rejoiced that he was going through a tough time. I, I, I just firmly believe that if he knew his son was hurting so bad, I really do believe that he would hurt. If, you know, always remember this, children. Always remember this. When you hurt, mama hurts. When you hurt, daddy hurts. And when you hurt, God hurts. We should never wish bad things on our children. We should never wish it. If they end up in jail, end up in prison, that will break our hearts. Amen. If they get shot down or killed, we ought to grieve. The father, I'm talking about a true father, does not laugh, does not rejoice, does not feel good about it. Well, I'm glad. I don't believe the father said, I'm glad. Look ahead, I'm glad. No, 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 he cried. I'll never forget when my brother was taken to prison, and I, I'll never forget my mom weeping and crying. I'll never forget that day. She was just crying. And she was just weeping. They took him in the chains and they took him behind bars. And my mother was just so crushed. I never want to break my mama's heart. She has such a love. Such a love. This father's love never stops. Never stops. Praying. Going to God. Loving his son. David said, oh, Absalom, my son, I wish I would have died for you. Absalom, it is rebellion. Absalom in the Bible, he went after his daddy to take his job. He went after his daddy to destroy his own father, gathered his army, gathered his gang. After his daddy, loved him. After his daddy, provided for him. After his daddy, cared for him. He loved his son. David said, King David said, for my son, please, please don't be too rough. <laughs> please don't be too rough. When you see him out there, don't kill him. Please. Please. David's army was so mad at that boy. David's army, certain guys said, I'm going to kill him. Even though the king begged him, Joab said to that soldier, what? You seen his son? Yeah, he had long hair going down his back, and that hair was caught up in a branch, and the mule, and he's stuck in the tree in his hair. And they told Joab, that leader, Joab said, what? Where's he at? Took that arrow. Hey, took that arrow, shot David's son right in the heart. Make a long story short. David just wanted to know, how's my son? How's Absalom? They gave him rapport. And David wept and cried and wailed. Oh, Absalom, my son, I wish I could have died for you. I wish I could have died. David, your son tried to kill you. David, your son chased you, overthrowing your kingdom. He's trying to kill you and all. David's soldier said, you better wipe those tears away or you're going to have something worse. We're going to do worse what Absalom did. You better, you better, he said, you better wipe them tears away. Amen. 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 They said, I'll tell you what, we're, we're so mad at you right now. If we would have all died, if we would have all died, you'd be happy. They were mad. And there was a number of them that died that day against Absalom and his son's rebellious harm. But what love. Amen. 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 
what love a father's love you know how many times you heard your pastor say it I'm trying to be like God I'm glad God's not trying to be like me I'm trying to be like him that's our problem we want to make God like us David had a father's love. I'm trying. You're trying. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. You want to be more like God, don't you? You, young men, one day, you'll be a father. And I'm striving. I'm still, I haven't arrived, though. I, 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 need, I need to be more like God. God help me. And God help you. Thank you, Father. No, my children haven't done what Absalom has done. My children haven't, to God's grace and God's mercy, anything could happen to any of us. But may God help us all to be like the Heavenly Father. Amen. 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 He loves us. Amen. Amen. I mean, there's, there's times we did not please him. Come on, somebody say amen there. Amen. Well, he wasted the substance of verse 13, wasted all his money, and riots just living, living like a stinking barnyard animal. Didn't live the way his daddy raised him and mama raised him, and daddy didn't. Come on. This not this is not his upbringing. This is this no, you don't you don't do these things. You know better. That's not your upbringing. Riots. We can we can just imagine. I hate to think about it. Dope, drugs, liquor, woman, pornography. I don't know. Look at it. Who knows? Gang banging. I don't know. Gambling. <laughs> Just stay up late at night, being a stinking bum. <laughs> Father loves him. Father loves him. Father praying. Father just caring. And hey, listen, you think what you want to. Sometime maybe you're staying up at night. Loves that boy. Amen. Amen. He went and joined himself, verse 15, to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields, feed feed swine and would fain would fill his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. No man gave unto him. I don't, think, I don't believe the father said, <laughs> I'm glad if the father knew what he was going through. I don't think the father would have said, <laughs> you got what you deserve. I told you. I raised you better. <laughs> no, the father didn't do that. Father wouldn't do that. Father would do that. Father would hurt. No, don't want his boy broke. Don't want his boy being hurt. And can I say this, Christian? Let's not when uh, let's not rejoice when other Christians fall to sin. Amen. Amen. Seems like the first thing people want to do is get on social network. I'm not justifying anything. Seems like they're happy. No, they're hurt. And when God, God deals with them, we ought to say, <laughs> that's what they get. No, you ought to feel sorry for them. That's a hurting girl. It's a hurting boy. That's somebody's child. You know? You don't laugh at them. You know? And, and, and you hurt. You hurt with them. Isn't that right? You hurt with them. The father's love. And when he, when he came to himself, he said, how many, what? Verse 17, how many, what? Hi, how many hired servants? My fathers have bread enough and to spare. My parents with hunger. He started thinking about the love of his dad, didn't he? I will rise and go to who? It doesn't say I'll rise to go to my mother. I thank God for mama. I couldn't do what I do without mama, my wife. 
Brother Brother said the same thing he couldn't do. Brother Grant in the West, any other Brother Grant? We cannot do it, am I right, without the mom? Right? Then why did he say, I'll rise to go to my father? Why did he say mother? I want to say thank you, wife. Thank God for pointing those kids to daddy. Thank you. It's supposed to be the leader in the home. The Bible says wife's supposed to submit to the husband. As unto the Lord. We're supposed to represent our Heavenly Father, be a leader. And our home's in a stinking mess. Because a lot of the times, Mama don't let Daddy be Daddy. And these kids know how to go around and try to cause some problems with Daddy and Mama. I'll tell you something, friend. They're going to be long gone. It's going to be just me and my wife. It's going to be you and your wife. And that is it. Those kids are going to be gone. Don't let nothing get in between love our kids, but they'll do it if we let them. And that's when they're there in the home. I go to my father that spanks me, that loves me, that corrects me, that provides for me, that loves my mama, that loves my mama. He loves me. Uh, that's one thing I stress. Uh, and of course, I haven't arrived. I haven't arrived. But you ask, I'm telling you, you ask my children. I believe you say the same, Brother Berlin. You, your children. Brother Grant, the others. Man, I'm going to tell you something. I love my children. I love them. And I always will love them. That's right. Always will love them. A father's love. I'm not saying we gotta justify what they're doing. I'm not saying we gotta run by their side, do the wrong. But one thing I want them always to know. I'm here for them. I love them. And I will die for them if I have to. Girls. Okay, there's some that don't have a father in the home, but you have a heavenly father. He cares about you. He'll spank you. God will spank you and love you. I told you about the pastor, that young teenage girl, her life was wrecked and ruined, and drugs, boys, and defiled. Just, just she, she wanted to die. She wanted to commit suicide. She said, Pastor, please spank me. I don't have a father that has spanked me. Would you please spank me? Begged him. Of course, the pastor didn't spank me. You know? And I'm sure the man of God said, you got a father that'll spank you. She said, I could go anywhere I want to go. I could do anything I want to do. I just wish I had a daddy to get on. I want to spank him. They ain't never had one. You got a father that'll spank you. Some of you ain't got a daddy to say that skirt's too it's too short. Cover your thighs, cover your legs. You have a heavenly father. Yeah. Cover your bosom. You don't have one, right? But you got a heavenly father. You got a heavenly father. You know you know how to dress modestly. You're taught right. You know, you know how boys lust. You know how perverts look. Thank God you're not raped and killed. I mean it. It's sad. If you're not a street walker, don't go start showing your stuff. And act like you're one. Who gave you show let you show your thighs, boy? Who gave you right show your thighs, sir? Show your half nakedness. Hello, come and talk to me now. A father's love. Go ahead. Yes, there's some that are rebel. Yes, there's some of these boys that are rebel. Yes, they, 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 they may do that what they don't supposed to do, but there's a father's love. You still love them. You still love them. They may uh, they, they may not uh, address the way they're supposed to. They may not talk the way they're supposed to. They may not do what they're supposed to. But there's a father's love that will always be there that will let them know I'm here for you. 
I don't agree with what you're doing. If it's the, they start to drink, they start to be on dope, they start to fornicate, they start to adultery. Thank God they know mama loves them, they know daddy loves them, they may listen to the stinking wicked music, they may, they may end up in jail, they may end up in prison, they may end up in divorce, they may end up wrecking their life, but they got a daddy that loves them. Wake up! How in the world do you sleep through all this grieving? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> explain. I love you. I love you. But I want you to, come on. Come on. The verse 1, the sheep, the sheep. The sheep, verse 1. You don't got to read it all. You know, the wandering sheep, but that shepherd loves that sheep. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. I found my sheep. You know this Bible. You know this Bible. And there's a love that the Father has. You're worth more than a stinking sheep. Thank God for leg of lamb, but you're more, you're more precious than a stinking sheep. Thank God for a coat with your sheep's clothing. You're more important than a stinking sheep. Thank God for the lamb. Thank God. Thank God for the money Amen. that you raise. Amen. You know, it is said they call the sheep by name. <laughs> they, they say the man's best friend is the dog. Well, I'll tell you what, there's some shepherds. Their best friend is the sheep. Amen. Amen. That which seed came out of the, our bodies. Father, the seed that came from your body. That dear wife that just about died having your child. Or even if it's an adoption. And that wife would rear a kid with you. And go through all the pain of raising a child. Do you know how much pain that comes? Do you know how much heartache that comes? Uh-oh, there, there goes their ringer. There goes their ringer. We're going to have to help him out. We're going to have to help him out. Oh, my soul, we're going to have to help him. You know, you just, we're going to have to help him. He's going to need his help with it. Maybe, maybe you can assist him. Maybe you can help give it to him. He can help you out. Of, oh, oh, he can call you. Well, we're going to change the radio. We're going to help you to come to church. No, no, no. You all right? Stop. Okay, stop. Go ahead. Quit. Hey, 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 quit. Thank God for Father's love. Thank God for Father's love. Isn't that right? In this chapter, you know Luke 15 in this chapter? Hey, listen. Listen to the dot, the money, the coin. Let's have a party. I found my coin. You're worth more than a coin. Amen. You're worth more than money. You're, more, you're worth more than a sheep. You're worth more than a sheep. You're worth more. Can, can you move over, Henry? I, I like to see faces when I'm preaching. I don't like no face hiding behind you. I want to see. I want to see. A, I want to see a good target that I can help. Amen. I want to be able to help. Amen. I want to be able to help you. Love you. Amen. I want to be able to see you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, can, can you can you move over there? I, I, yeah, can you move over? I want, I want to see faces. <laughs> now, if they don't move, I want, it'd be nice if you move to see me. You should want to see me. <laughs> don't look over here. <laughs> don't look over here. Now y'all can see <laughs> I love you. I love you. The pastor cares about you. I want to be able to see you. Amen. I want to be able to help you. Yes. Look up here, not over there. Oh, no, no, over here. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. I want to help you stay on track. I want you to think about the Father's love. I want you to think about the Father's love for you. 
So I want God to bless you. And I want you to remember how much he cares about you. Hopefully that will help you. That you feel very valuable. A sheep doesn't have a soul. A coin doesn't have a soul. What does the prophet of man to gain the whole world? I lose no soul. Every parent in this room, the biggest nightmare any parent could ever face. If a child is not saved and goes to hell and burn forever. There is no bigger burden than to a father. Can you imagine us being in heaven, enjoying all the streets of gold and the mansions, no sickness, no death, no sorrow, having a great time, and one of our children are burning in hell forever? Never, never again to see them? We're, we're going to miss you. It's only a week. We're going to miss you. I owe, it, I owe it. I owe it. I owe it to my wife. and I've done it for years. Go up in Connecticut. We, we, we've done it for years. We traveled 18 hours, 18 hours back. We, we've done that. We talked about it this morning. I'd say over 100 times. Let's take her to her loved ones. I owe it to her. And we've done that for years. I always, always took her to see her loved ones. And, you know, and of course, I got some relatives there, but the ones that were closest to me, you know, they're gone. And as you grow older, they, they die out, you know. I thank God for, for heaven. And I'll see them up there, I believe, but it may be a while. You know, I don't know how long. And, um, you know, I mean, it's a week, but we miss you, of course, of course. But, but, but it would be the nightmare of my life if the rapture happened, we went up and to be with Jesus, and you were left behind and died and burned in hell forever and go to the lake of fire and we be in heaven rejoicing forever. That's why make sure you say, make sure your child will die, make sure you trust Christ. Amen. 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 I want all my children to be there. Amen. I want your children to be there. Amen. I want all the people in, in our church. I hope the pastor's wrong. I hope he said he believes in churches Maybe half or most of the people may not even be saved the way they're, they're living. I hope, I hope he's not right. I hope he's wrong. Amen. Amen. Come on. I hope he's wrong. And you know if you're saved or not. I know if I'm saved or not. I can't answer for you. You know your heart. You know if you believe Jesus died and was buried and rose from the dead. But if you really love your brothers and sisters, you are, your worst nightmare is they burning forever and you're in heaven. Never see them again. By the grace and mercy of God, you're going to pray for us. We're going to take a trip. We're going to go on that plane and be in the sky, shining. And, and my wife, and Tuesday, Lord willing, early Tuesday morning, you pray for us? You said? Amen. And um, we plan on coming back the following Tuesday? Now, if that plane crashed and Hey, pay attention, please. That plane crashed. Shine died. My wife died. I died. I don't believe it's going to happen. But the nightmare would be while we're in heaven rejoicing in heaven. If you're not saved, then you'd be burning in hell. Lake of fire. Or a loved one won't be up there with us. Lord willing, I'll see you. Hey, Lord willing. I'll see you, God willing. God, God willing. The, the following Tuesday. Amen. Amen. Because when a person dies, that soul goes on forever. A sheep has no soul. Money has no soul. But this son has a soul. Amen? Amen. Look what the Bible says here. 
Look what the Bible says here. I will rise in verse 18 and go to my father, and I will say unto him, Father, I have what? Sin against what? Heaven and before what? That's when a sinner gets saved. When they realize they've sinned, they're sinner. And they accept God's love and God's mercy and God's grace. And once that person accepts Christ, they're saved. Amen. Amen. Now, a backslider, a backslider is one that is hard to tell the difference between a child of God and a child of the devil. Like Peter, he got backslidden, cussed and cursed. He said, I don't know the blankety blank man. Now, he was saved. He, he just needed to get right with God like the prodigal. Now, Judas, he looked good. He looked good. He didn't cuss and curse. He went straight down to hell. He dressed like a Christian, talked like a Christian, sang in the choir. Judas taught Sunday school, went to hell, never got saved. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. He never believed. He never trusted Christ. Never said, I sin. Forgive me. I don't want to go to hell. Right? And no, man, no more worthy to be called thy son, verse 19, underline that. Make me as one of thy hired servants. Now, the father's love is so deep and says, son, don't talk that way. Don't talk that way. You're my son. I am not going to make you like one of my slaves. Hello, you're my child. A, heaven, a father that really loves his child is not going to say, okay, I'll make you my slave. I'm, I'm going to make you my slave. Now, that's not a father's love, right? You're my son, right? Amen. I'm your father, right? You come right from me. You're part of me. Amen. I'm so glad you've gotten right. He has to push his son away, right? Amen. Amen. And he arose and he came to where? Verse 20, and he rose and came to who? His father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had what? Compassion. Compassion. What did he do? There goes that loving father. He ran. He didn't walk. He didn't crawl. He ran, right? And what happened? He fell on his neck, and what did he do? He kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven in thy sight. No more worthy be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, what? Bring forth the what? That's the best. Now, nothing left over, the best robe. And put it on him. And put a what? Put that ring on his hand. And what? Shoes on his feet. And bring it hither. What? The old leftover calf? Bring the what? He's been feeding that calf, hasn't he? He's been waiting for his son to come home, hasn't he? And kill it and let us eat and be what? And be merry. For this my son was what? Dead. Dead and is what? Alive. Alive again. He was lost and is what? Found. Found. And they began to be what? Mary. That's the father's love. Amen. Amen. That's the father's love. Amen. Such a love. And I, I, I hope this Father's Day you would realize your Father in Heaven loves you too. Amen. He loves you so much. I'm trying, to, striving to be like my Heavenly Father. Isn't that right, dads? Amen. We're striving, aren't we? Amen. Aren't we working on it? This Father's Day. I appreciate my God that's been so patient and long-suffering with me. And may God help me to be long-suffering with my children. May God help you. You see? You know, the, these parents that brag on kids, we better be very careful. They're not all dead. They're not all gone. There's no telling what they may do. Don't get me wrong. We'll, we'll, we'll encourage them. We'll thank God for the good. But we got to be very, very careful to brag on our kids. It might be when we're older, something crazy could happen. I think about that pastor that committed adultery and had asked, he had asked people to forgive him and went to jail, went to prison, you know, messed with a teenage girl, you know, and got in trouble. And um, famous preacher, right? 
he's divorced now. His family's broken. Did you know his mom and dad, the same one that was, and we ought to be, pre, that's nice that you, you, your child can, your son can be a pastor of one of the largest churches in the world. That's something to be proud of. But we got to be very careful. Because while he was pastor, that's when he broke his daddy's heart. And he broke his mom's heart. I believe his dad still loved him. I believe that. I believe his daddy still loved him. You think what you want to, I think his daddy visited him when he was in jail. I don't think he called him a stupid, stinking, stupid jerk. Cussed him. I know his daddy hurt. I know his daddy hurt. But that's his boy. That's his boy. That pastor all over the country, all over the news, look what he did to the teenage girl. Look at having an affair with the teenage girl. And they laughed at him and they mocked at him on the social network. Call them whatever name they can call them. I'm not justifying what the preacher did. To this day, I'm sure he's tormented. I'm not justifying anything like that. Be very, very careful you throw rocks on people's kids. Be very careful throwing rocks at somebody. Because the Bible says you take heed lest you also fall. All over the internet, these, these preachers, these preachers, that's, the, that's their whole life, getting on the internet, talking about what this preacher did, what this preacher did, and all this stuff, and talking about I don't know how they have time to talk about all this stuff anymore. They ought to realize that's somebody's son, that's somebody's daughter. Preach against sin, hate sin. I seen preachers get up and parents that have loved that church, love God, help build that church. Faithful in church. Love the preacher. And stupid statements the preacher would get up and acting like they're blaming those parents what the kids are going wrong. Out in sin, say so you 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 did something wrong. That child must make their own decision when they grow older. Yes, sir. Amen. Decent parent gets them in church and loves them, Amen. gives them the best. Some of them Amen. give them Bible college and Christian schools and a Christian home. That's why I give you the um, illustration of these two girls that they were twins and. Went to Bible college, and, and uh, one married a good man and loved God, served God, had a happy family, you know, happy family. And the other one married, and then her, her husband shot her and killed her. Uh, Y'all know the story better than I do, some of you. But the police came. Something happened on the job. I don't know, on the job, whatever. You, you know the story better than I do. But the police came and and they caught up to him and and I believe he shot himself. I don't think the police shot. Him. I think he shot himself. But the same parent. It's the same Christian school, Bible college, right? I don't want to name the college t tonight because it can happen to any Bible college. I don't blame the college. That's not what poor what poor what college they graduate from. The important is they didn't apply. One, one, one person didn't play. Same parent. Can't blame the parent. Can't, you can't blame the father. Now that, that, that boy that shot his wife, I want you to know that's somebody's son. That's somebody's son. And that daughter Wake up, wake up. I love you. I'm about to quit. I love you. You're tired. You, 
I know. I'm just trying to be alarm clock. Thank you. Thank you, you're in church. Thank you, you're in the house of God. Okay? You know, there's a love that that father has for that daughter shot by that daddy son and law. These are people. Are you listening to me? I don't have the attitude when I say it may show up 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. I don't have the attitude, told you so. Told you so. I don't have the attitude. We hurt with him. We love him. I am not going to tell you I told you so. I don't want it to happen. But there are cases where parents are just not doing right. That's a whole different story. You know what you're supposed to be doing right. That's different. You're going to have to answer God for what happens to that child. That's a whole different story, friend. And I want you to know you're, the Heavenly Father will deal with stuff like that. And it's not going to be, it's not going to, it's not going to, it's not going to be good. But I thank God for parents that are striving to love their kids, praying, and just trying to do what you can to be a good example. You know? You see what I'm getting at? Now, if the daddy or mommy is living a whole different life when they leave this church, those kids do see it. And the parent's going to have to give an answer to that. Amen. And it's going to show up, and it's going to be ugly. Amen. 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 May God help us all tonight. May God help us all. Love you, precious rescue mission people from CARM. God bless you. God bless you. I mean now. I want you to think about the Father's love. I want you to think about how much he wants to do for you. And I promise you he will. He loves you more than you can imagine. There's no telling the miracles he'll do for you. Just respond to him. Just respond to his love. Respond to his love. Say, Father, forgive me. Help me. Seen God take a homeless person and make him a millionaire. It was on the news. They were asking for food in the street, homeless. Became a millionaire. They forgot about God and they became homeless. And then once again, God made him a millionaire. Amen. You homeless people just don't forget us when God makes you a millionaire. Get your tithe. Get your offering. Serve God. Let's bow our heads in prayer. The Father's love. Isn't that right? The Father's love. Amen. The Father's love. The Father's love. I'm trying to be like God. I'm trying to be like my Heavenly Father. You pray for me. I haven't arrived. My sister pastor, such a humble servant, he'll tell you, he, he hasn't arrived. He's striving to be more like God. My wife knows. His wife knows. <laughs> We're working at this thing. But we love our children. Brother Grant, you love your children, Brother Grant. You love them. Yes, you do. I'm going to ask these daddies to come to the altar. We're going to have a special prayer for these daddies, these fathers. I'm asking you to pray for these fathers. I'm asking you to ask God to bless them. Pray for these fathers. Pray for these fathers. Pray for these fathers. Pray for us. 
Pray for us. Would you pray for us, please? Would you pray for us, please? Would you? I am going to invite others that will come and say thank you.